Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Fair warning, I do consider myself a college football logo connoisseur. Okay, this is a fair warning. This is a full ranking of every single college football logo, and I've created my own tiers. So we've got the GOAT tier. I'm guessing maybe two or three logos might be in here. I don't know. We'll see how many make it. The Elite tier, which is still, you know, an extremely cool looking logo. Above average, it's nice. It's nothing special, but it's fine to look at. You've got the Average tier, which most of these are probably going to fall into. Below average, it's just not good. It doesn't line up. It's not symmetrical. Come on. And then the worst, which is just horrible to look at. Uh, so guys, we will just kick this off and it looks like, yeah, it has to be in alphabetical order. Look at that. A, 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 uh, Arkansas State Army. Okay, so it is in order alph alphabetically and that's how we will rank these. So first we have Air Force. I think it's a below average logo. Just don't like it. There's not much to it. The overall scheme, the overall length of it, the way it's shaped, not really a fan of it. And also the color, kind of a weird blue, a little bit too dark for me. Maybe a more vibrant blue, a little lighter blue, get it a little zesty. I would move it maybe to average if it had a better blue, but it's a below average logo, let's be real. The Akron Zips, I believe they've changed their logo. This is this is a sick logo to me. I like it. I'm going to put it above average. You got the Z there for Zips. It's clean. It's classic. And, you know, it lines up real nice. But I do believe they have since changed their logo. Last year it was the whole, like, their logo was their actual name. It was just the script Akron. And it was actually kind of clean, but it was too long. But I think they've since changed it. Next, we have Alabama. I think Alabama does an unbelievable job with their logo. To me, it's an elite logo. It looks great. The circle, and then you've got the A in the center. They also do have kind of their secondary logo, which is just the A, the, uh, you know, cursive A by itself. It's a really nice logo. I like the circle. I think it adds, like, a nice symmetrical look. So I'm going to put the Alabama logo in Elite. Appalachian State, it's just an ugly logo. I might honestly put it in Worst, but I don't want to have too many in Worst because I don't want to water down the category. You know what I'm saying? Like if I put 15 logos in Worst, it's not going to mean as much. So we're going to leave it down on below average. I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. It's just an A, and then it kind of has you know, the nickname scrunched into there. Not a fan of Appalachian State's logo. Arizona is very similar, but I am moving it up to average. Uh, just because this color scheme is better, personally, this is very ugly to me. This white and kind of light yellow. It's just a lot better color scheme. It, scheme. It's a lot cleaner for me, but it is, it's just the letter. It's A. So a lot of these are probably going to end up in the average category. Arkansas, I'm just personally not a fan of these type of logos. We will put it at the back end of average. You know, the you know the hog, I understand it, but I don't like how horizontal it is. I like more, you know, based logos that are shaped around. I don't know. It's just there's something about the fact that it's that it's very long that I don't like. This is okay, so this is one of my favorites. Arkansas State. You put it next to Alabama. Do you think the Arkansas State logo is better than Bama? Honestly, it's Arkansas State, I did logo rankings like last year, and I think I had it as like my sixth best, or like my second greatest logo. We're going to leave it in elite for now. It's just it's just an unbelievable logo. It, it, the, the red and black, oh man. You, actually, Arkansas State faces Ohio State this year. So that'll be fun to see their logo, but it's an amazing logo. These lo these two logos right here, Ark to me, Arkansas State's is just better, man. It's just it's so cool. I don't know what it is. It's so cool. Army, I think Army has a cool logo. Definitely above average. Maybe, a, um, I wouldn't say elite. It's a, that's a sweet looking logo. The shield, uh, you know, so Army's is really, really good. And also I like the color scheme of it, the darker colors. Next, we have Auburn. To me, I'll just say it's average. Is it better than uh, Arizona's? The AU, does it fit better a little bit? I don't, uh, it's very close to me. We're going to leave it like that. It is average. Arizona State, not really a fan. 
personally. I'll put it at the back end of average because I don't think it's a bad logo, but it's just way too vertical. It's just way too vertical for me. Uh, Ball State, it looks like a logo from the 1940s. We're going to leave it in below average. I actually don't even know if there this is their current logo or not cuz it looks like this was Ball State's logo from the like from the 50s. Like they've since upgraded this, right? Doesn't it have that like really old vibe to it like you'd see this at an on an old video game or something, this type of logo. It just it, that's what it has to me. So below average, we're not going to make it worse, but it is bad. Baylor I mean, you could say it's very similar to Air Force. I'm going to move it up slightly to average. I mean, there's nothing horribly wrong with it. It's just BU. I can understand people hating this logo. I really wouldn't understand if you, if you think this logo is elite. It's just a lot of these are just going to be, you know, the symbol. They're going to be very average. Boise State, it's a cool logo. We're going to go above average. Very similar to Akron. Very clean. Sweet Bronco. Maybe looks a little bit like a Mustang. Also, the colors are amazing. The color scheme, you know, love the blue. The dark, like, moon-type blue color. Very, very slick, clean logo to me personally. Boston College, I like it. I really do like it. We're going to put it at the back end of above average. You might go front of average. No, I like it. I like the BC with the eagle. Very nice. Like the color scheme. Like the way it's lined up. It's a good looking logo. Bowling Green, they do a great job. Bowling Green to me... Where is it right here? Bowling Green is maybe elite. It's either above average or elite. It just looks so cool. The Falcon with the BG and then the dark brown on the orange. Oh, it's a great look. Oh my God, is that sexy. I've been just looking at it right now. It's amazing. We might have to move. Yeah, we're going to have to do one of those. Yeah, I like keeping Alabama in front of it because Alabama's more traditional. But it's a nice logo. Next, we have Buffalo. I like Buffalo's logo. I do. We're going to put it above average. I'll put it in front of BC. Yeah, these logo, these two logos are very similar. Very clean. Symmetrical. I like that. I'm actually going to move it in front of Boise, uh, Boise State's. Yeah, we're actually going to move it in front of Akron. We're actually going to move Boise State in front of Akron as well. We're doing a little one-two movement. There's a lot of movement going on right now. BYU, there's nothing horrible about it, but I'm not a fan of ovals. So we'll put it right smack dab in the middle. Nothing terrible. I don't hate it. Next, we've got Colorado. This is a nice logo. It is. You know, with this one, it's either on the upper echelon of average or the lower echelon. Yeah, we're going to go here. We're actually going to do that. We're going to do that. Moving in front of Boston College. I'm making moves. I like it. It's a nice little, uh, you know, Colorado thing. So next, we have California and I don't know if this is actually how dark their logo is, but, you know, it's just the script, Cal. I I'm going to say below average. You know, I, I understand the whole cursive thing is a style, but just the overall color. Maybe make it a brighter, I don't know, a, a slightly brighter blue. I understand that's their color scheme, but, uh, you know, it it's a style. It's just not my style, personally. Central Michigan, it, you know, it's borderline horrible. Central Michigan is another MAC team that looks like they have a 1930s logo. We might have to put it above Ball State, but Central Michigan is just not a good logo. Next, we have Charlotte, the 49ers. I like this logo a lot. I'm going to move it somewhere in the above average range. It's clean. I like the X. I like the coloring. Yeah, it's very similar to the Colorado one. You know what? We got to move this Akron one back a little bit. I'm sorry. All right, I like, yeah, I like how that's looking right there. I like that. Next, we've got Cincinnati, who we can barely see, and I just do not like the verticality of it. Personally, I understand. We're going to put it in average. Very similar to the Arizona State one. It's cool. I mean, it's a cool logo. It looks nice, kind of slanted. And I understand the paw print. It's a cool look. But I just don't like those type of logos that don't take up the full page. Next is Clemson. Clemson immediately goes into at least the elite tier. It is so freaking clean. The vibrant orange is amazing. That is, yeah, that's going to have to go right here. People are going to say, you know, Clemson, Alabama, well, they are, they have good logos. They're also really good college football programs, but they have good logos. You honestly could go here. It's just, I know it's just a print. 
it's just so clean. There's something about that so clean. Next, we have Coastal Carolina. I love this logo. To me, this fits in right into the above average range. Me, yeah, I'd have to put it above Boise State. Sorry, Boise. You're going to get knocked down for Coastal Carolina and Grayson McCall. We're moving them up. Colorado State, don't like it. It's another one of those weird retro logos. It's just a circle. Not a fan of the Ram. Think it looks ugly personally. Next, we have Duke. I'm not going to do anything horrible to Duke. It's very average. Let's just call it what it is. We'll put it at the back end of average. When you've got these black logos where it's just one capital letter, it's iconic. I understand this is their logo. I get it. It just doesn't do it for me personally. I'm not going to put it in worst or below average. It's just an average logo. Very similar to, you know, Baylor. Very similar to BYU. Arizona. Auburn, you know. Next, we have East Carolina. This one is kind of hit or miss. It, I really don't like this one very much. We're going to put it at the front of below average. I understand if you like this, but it just, for a college football team or for like a program, I just don't see how it fits. It's more like a kid's type logo. Like if you got a little flag football team for your 10-year-old younger brother or something like that, you see a logo like this there. Just it, To me, it just doesn't fit. It's not a bad logo. But I mean, we're not in preschool here. We're not doing a little, you know, play with clay, play doh or whatever. Uh, Eastern Wa or excuse me, Eastern Michigan. What? This is not Eastern Michigan. Is this Eastern Michigan's logo? I thought I saw Max. Is that their? That's a, not a good logo. It's just an. E. I mean, I, I'm not gonna destroy it, but it's just an uppercase E with looks like you know a dark green, but it's not horribly dark. FAU. It's a slick logo. We'll put it up here. FA using an above average logo. I like the looks of it. It's not the, you know, the the exact shape that I would want, but it is a sweet logo. We'll put it right now. You know what? We're going to have to move Akron to the end. Akron to me is a little bit more average. I don't even think that's their logo right now. Next, FAU. I'm not going to put it in worst for now, but it's just, I just don't like the 3D look of it. Yeah, this is a, this might have to go into worst, guys. It's just, there's no, it's so off, you know? It's just, it doesn't, it's not, this is like a good secondary logo. It's, there's nothing clean about uh, Florida International's logo, unfortunately. It looks like a Division Three type logo. Next, we have Florida State. I've always thought Florida State has had a really, really sweet logo. I think it deserves Elite. It's it just, it, To me, it just looks really... It looks, it looks almost like an NFL logo. It's just so clean. Yeah, I would say... It Maybe you could put it, honestly, in front of Army. These are some nice logos up here, I'll tell you that much. Next, we have Florida... Uh, it's, I'd say it's above average. It's a sweet logo, but it's nothing special. Uh, Fresno State, I believe. I hate the 3D look. I, it's better than FIU. I'm considering worst. I might move it up to the end of below average. No, it's terrible. It's not like just the 3D look. It's just, it looks out of place. This is a decent secondary logo. It, there's nothing clean about this logo. I just don't like the way those logos are. Georgia Southern, to me... It looks like a freaking tampon company. I don't know. It's just got a weird vibe to it. So we're going to go below average. Georgia State, my God. It, no. Oh, no. We've hit a bad run. Georgia Tech, I'm not going to kill it. It's just the GT. Nothing wrong with it. Back end of average. Georgia, it's clean. We'll put it in the middle. Yeah, very similar to BYU. Very similar. Uh, if you like this logo, I mean, that's fine. It's a clean logo. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't think it does anything special. Hawaii, very similar. We'll put it right in the middle or maybe towards the back there. Hawaii, not a bad logo, but just an H, you know, maybe a few little things on there. Maybe a few little Hawaiian spikes for the culture. I don't know. Uh, Illinois. So to me, Illinois does have a clean logo due to their colors. I love the bright orange. But again, there's another situation. It is, I'd say, probably at the front end of average. Yeah, front end. I just like Illinois' program. Illinois' program, it's just there's something about it. I don't know why. There's something good that's happening right now with Illinois football. I'm expecting an 11-win season from the Fighting Illini this year. A New Year's Six Bowl trip. Maybe the Peach Bowl. Who knows? Uh, next, we've got... Indiana, you know, this is an, an iconic logo. I think you got to go above average. Well, I mean, I like it. Personally, I just like the design symbol of it, so I will go above average. 
for that one. But the back end of above average, Iowa State, not really a fan of it. I'll put it at the yeah, I'm really not a fan of Iowa State. We'll put it at the front of below average. It's got the I and then the state. Just I don't like the coloring, and it just looks off-centered to me personally. Next, we have Iowa. It's a, it's a clean logo. You know, very similar. Actually, you know what? We might move it in front. Yeah, we'll move it to the front of average. So Iowa, you know, the Hawkeye, it's clean. You could argue it should be up here. You know what? Let's just put it in the above average. I'm feeling nice. I feel nice to Iowa. We're going to move it up a little bit. Next, we have Kansas State. To me, I mean, what even is this thing? We're, no, it's average. It's not horrible. I don't want to kill it. Kansas, very clean logo. I have to put this in the elite. Back end of elite, it's very clean. It just looks really good. The color scheme looks amazing, especially when it's small. Yep. You could actually argue it should be in front of... It's very close between these two. Very, these are dueling right now. They're dueling. Who's going to win? We'll have to see. Maybe I'll change it. Ken State, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful look. Yep, very similar to Coastal Carolina. We're putting it right there. This is an amazing graph right now. Louisiana, oh, I hate these type of logos. You know what? We're going to move it up to below average. No, it's horrible. Let's be honest. We have to. It's just not a good logo. It just says Raging Cajuns. Nothing to it. Uh, UL Monroe, horrible. But not, I can't put it on worse, but it's really bad. Louisiana Tech, not terrible. Kind of right in the middle of it. Well, you know what? It does have some character to it. It's got the outline of Louisiana. We're moving it up. Does it move past Arizona? Yes, it does. Can it break through Illinois? Okay, no, I can't even do that. But yes, it does. So Louisiana Tech, not a bad logo. Maybe above average if I want to be nice. I actually do like this. I'm not even going to lie. I do like this logo. We're going to move it up a little bit. I'm trying to think. Uh, so I do. Liberty, nothing special about it. Below average. I got to start rapid firing these. Louisi or excuse me, Louisville, very clean. Very clean logo. Upper echelon. Right. Actually, look at these two. They're very similar. All these logos are similar. This is, like re this is a really clean logo. We're going to put it at the front. We're going to do that with bu Buffalo's is kind of... I do like Buffalo's logo. I don't know. It's just very nice. LSU, I just, uh, there's nothing wrong with, I mean, it's just LSU, man. I don't know. We'll just put it in the average. Next, we have Marshall, the herd. We're going to put it a little bit higher in average because they added the herd on it. Uh, Maryland, what are you going to do? It's just an M. Uh, Memphis, to me, this is another logo that just looks old. It seems like it needs an update. Maybe this is just their old logo and now they have a new one. Either way, if this is Memphis's logo right now, Memphis, Ball State, uh, Central Michigan, those three, and UL Monroe, it seems like they're old logos. I don't know if that's true. Georgia Southerns is just weird. It Yeah, it just does not fit. Next, we've got Miami of Ohio. I think it's a clean M, but again, it's, it's just a freaking M. Next, we have the U. So I will move this up past like Auburn because it is iconic. It's the U. We'll move it at the front of average because I love the color scheme. Anytime you have bright orange, I love it. I just love bright orange. And then now we have Michigan State. So Michigan State, if I could make a suggestion to Michigan State, it's a really dark green that I don't... It's just too dark. I understand that's one of your team colors, but when you make it almost piss black... That's not even, a, that doesn't even make sense. Piss black. But it, it's like almost black. No, it's a sweet logo, Spartan, but I like the outline of it. We'll move it up. It's just a little bit too dark for me. It's hard to see. Michigan, you know, it's iconic block M, but you know, with Duke, it's an, it's a freaking M. It, Maryland, it's an M. You know, they're just outlines at some point. You know what? Let's, let's stop disrespecting Kansas State. Let's, let's just stop being disrespectful. Minnesota, it's horrible. So Minnesota is like a lowercase m that, or maybe an uppercase m that's trying to be lowercase. I don't know what it is. I hate it. I'm going to put it at the front end of worst. Missouri to me is below average. I just don't like the oval look. Although I do have these two right now. <laughs> I've got the two ovals right here, but this one, yeah, no, Missouri, there's just something weird about Missouri. I think it's the font on their field. Guys, Missouri has a really, maybe I'm, 
Maybe I got that wrong, but it seems like if you search a Missouri football game, the numbers on their field have a weird font, and it really Fs up their product. I don't know. Mississippi State, it's pretty clean. Mississippi State, I like it. You know what? I'd say it's above average. It's, it's a clean logo. Yeah, so Mississippi State does it well. Middle Tennessee, not horrible. I mean, we'll, yeah, we'll just lump it in with all the other ones. North Texas, not a fan of this one. Just, uh, to me, pretty bland. Uh, we're going to have to start moving some of these. I don't... Eastern... I guess you could just move up east, uh, Eastern Michigan because it's just, I mean, it's just an E. Like, I'm just going to put all those in average. But yeah, North Texas, I just don't like the way it's it, it, it looks personally. Next, we've got Navy. So it's just an N, but it does have a little star and that actually makes a big difference. I think it looks sweet, so I'm going to move it up. I mean, it, it does make, it makes a big difference. I'm telling you, this star. Nebraska, smack dab in the middle of average. Smack dab in the middle. Just an N. Nevada, it's just too dark. I, uh, I don't really like this logo. We'll put it right next to Missouri. New Mexico, I do not like this logo, man. It's uh, it's like a diamond, a half diamond shape at the bottom. I don't know. It's, it, it's doing way too much for me. All these logos down here. New Mexico State, no, I don't like it either. We'll put it at the front end of below average. NC State's not bad. No, NC State's pretty good. NC State, I would probably put at the back end of above average. I like the way it looks. UNC is sweet. UNC is definitely an above average logo to me. Kind of maybe right next to, we'll do one of those. We'll do one of those. Yeah, UNC is an above average logo. Northern Illinois. Uh, I mean, this is definitely a hit or miss logo. I don't have a yeah, it's just there's a lot going on. I mean, you have if you maybe if you took away the N, uh, the NIU, and just had the Husky, it'd be. But maybe the people would mistake it for Washington. I don't know. Northwestern, come on, it's another one of those. Although it's skinny, it's a skinny N. We got to move it down a little bit. This Middle Tennessee is this is a small logo. We're gonna move that down. Uh, Notre Dame, you know, it's it's an iconic logo. We'll put it at the front end. I got to move Auburn down a little bit. I'm sorry, Auburn. I got to move you down. But yeah, we'll put it at the front. It's an iconic logo, but I mean, it's an it's an ND, you know. Old Dominion, I'm not actually sure if this is their new logo, but they had a sweet logo and it got so downgraded if this seriously is their new logo. Like their old logo that I used to rank, I would have probably put in maybe the GOAT status. Definitely elite. Their old logo, maybe I'll put it up on the screen if I can find it. But this new one, there is way too much going on. Just way too much going on. Ohio State, this is an elite logo, folks. The, the Ohio State logo, to me, the thing with the Ohio State logo, the just the way the block O is shaped and then the S fits in like, you know, almost like a Jenga piece right in between the, you know, the rest of the state and the Ohio. It just fits so perfectly. I love that logo. Uh, Ohio, to me, another like retro type logo. The Mac has a lot of, actually, you know what? It's not that bad. Yeah, no, it's not that bad of a logo. Kind of similar to Northern Illinois. Oklahoma State, you know, it's average. I got to start rapid firing through these. Oklahoma, I mean, OU, I have nothing against it, but it's nothing special. Old Miss, I really do like Old Miss's logo. I'm, I'm moving it up, seriously. I know it's just a, a cursive Old Miss, but it, it's the style of it is cool. Per, I, I like that. I do not like this logo from uh, Oregon State. It's to me, it's just too small. Maybe if they made it just bigger, but also it looks like a honestly, it looks like a mentally handicapped beaver. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, next, we have just an O for Oregon. You know, it's average. There's nothing against it. We'll throw it there. Penn State, extremely clean. Penn State is borderline elite. I'm putting it on the elite tier. It's just so clean. I understand people are going to say, oh, it's an oval, and you said you hate ovals. But it's really a, kind of like a, a lesser of an oval when you compare the, these, like some of these other ovals. It's a lesser oval. It's like a hybrid of a circle and an oval, and then just the Nittany Lion and, and the way the dark blue interacts with the white. I love it. Pittsburgh, it's so, Pittsburgh is so clean. I know it's just cursive. I know it's such a clean logo. I don't know why. I have to put it at the front. Seriously, we're gonna eh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do one of these. Okay, yeah. Pittsburgh is just it's it's very clean. Pitt or excuse me, Purdue. I do not like the way Purdue's logo is. It's it's too small. It's and it's just an uppercase P. Rice. This looks like some Hebrew. I, I just don't like it. It's not horrible, but you know it's just an R and. 
Well, it's whatever. Rutgers, I, honestly, Rutgers kind of like is, is kind of like Minnesota. I just it, it looks like a times now. What wh- what would that be? What font would that be? Arial maybe. I'm not a scholar. I don't know fonts, but that's just such a bland font. I mean, there's a, you can maybe I should if I have a, this up here and this down here. I don't know if that's. Eh, we're just gonna leave it. I don't know. Rutgers, you could move it to average because it's just an R. But it's just such a bland font. But these are like the exact same fonts. Maybe they are. I don't know. It's close. Southern Miss, I don't like those type of logos. San Diego State, looks like it's about to join the Illuminati. We're going to put that in below average. I like this one a lot. I like this uh, San Jose State logo. We're going to put it in above average. It's a nice logo. The Spartan. Uh, USC has a clean logo as well. USC is an above average logo. Just the way it's intertwined. It looks very nice. SMU, the Mustangs. There's nothing wrong with this logo. We'll put it at the front of average. It, you know, it's just a Mustang galloping if that's your thing. You like horses, maybe you like that one. South Alabama, it's horrible. I mean, it's got to be one of the worst. You know, it looks like an overweight panther. I, I just don't know what they were doing there. Uh, South Carolina, to me, it's just a little obnoxious, man. I mean, it's it's just a massively big logo. I, no, it's not horrible. We'll put it at the front. Or we could move it to average. I don't hate the logo, honestly. Yeah, we'll move it to average. But it's just obnoxious for some reason. South Florida, I mean, it's just a U. I don't really like it. But Stanford, you know, it's iconic. It's got the tree. Nothing special. We'll put it at the upper echelon of average. Syracuse, we're throwing it in average. a and you know, somewhere in the average range. TCU, kind of dark. No, actually, I like the TCU logo. I don't. It's just freaking. It's just TCU. It's literally just TCU. But I do like it for some reason. I think it's the purple. Uh, Temple. Oh my god, what a horrible logo! You have a freaking. I gotta put that way back here. You can't have a background, man. You cannot have a background block. That is so freaking ugly. FAU's got to be the worst though. South Alabama has to be the second worst if we're being honest. Tennessee. You know, it's iconic. It's We'll put it right with Michigan. Uh, I love that. I don't know why I like this logo, but I just, I think it's because of the colors. This is Texas State's logo. So I'm going to put it pretty high. I'm not going to put it in the elite tier, but it's these type of logos that I like. The weird coloring. It's like a dark brown. I don't know. It's just, I like the coloring of it. Texas Tech, it's pretty clean. Texas Tech is pretty clean. We'll move it up to the upper echelon of average. Texas, it's an iconic logo, but I just... It's so small because of the horns. The horns make the overall head so small. But I know why they did it. it I mean, it's a nice logo, but it, the way it looks compared to other logos is so small. Toledo, I'm not even sure if this is their logo. To me, that's a below average logo. Troy, not a fan. It's just so, such a massive T. Two, two, this is a hit or miss one. I, you know, Tulane, it's just not very good. It, it, it's funny, but it's not good. Tulsa, it's not good. UAB is a beast of a logo. So UAB is another one that might, there's, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to put it on, on, on the elites tier, but it's another one that I really, really like. When you look at the UAB logo, it's sweet. Maybe you could argue it's doing too much, breathing fire and stuff, but it does, it looks so HD. It's just so cool. UCF, you know, it's just, it's bland. The uh, UCLA logo, the script logo, or the cursive, excuse me. I mean, it's nice. There's nothing wrong with it. We'll put it kind of with Michigan State. Uh, UConn, I'm personally not a big fan of these type of logos. Uh, it also kind of looks like a, almost looks like a female Husker, Husky. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't know. Uh, Houston, below, I mean, what are you going to do? I can't even grade all these at this point. Kentucky, basically the same thing as Houston. UMass, get out of here. U- UMass, the worst team in college football. UNLV. Oh my goodness, Utah Utah State's not horrible. Yeah, Utah State, we got to throw in the average category. Utah, this is a very clean logo. We have to move this up to at least, at least here. It's a very clean logo. There's no doubt about it. We'll move it close to the Pittsburgh logo. UTEP, that is ugly, man. That's got to be towards the back end to below average. Uh, UTSA, I just so small. It's so freaking small. I Vanderbilt. So Vanderbilt actually got a new logo. We'll just put this in the average. They got a new logo. So it's just, I think it's just the V now. And I mean, it's, I I would say it's a downgrade from this. I like the star. 
But I guess you could say it maybe makes you look like a, I don't know. People don't take Vanderbilt seriously because it had this logo. I don't know. Either way, Virginia Tech, very average. Virginia, I like Virginia's logo a lot. It's, I guess it's just personal preference. I just like the way it looks. We're going to move it all the way up to you know significantly above average. Wake Forest, that's not a good logo. Washington State, it's just, I don't know what's going on there, man. I You know, it's just, come on. that's That might be in worst. Washington, uh, it's just a W. And the problem is the W is not even... Maybe that makes it better, the fact that the W is not exactly the same length. The sides are different. That might actually make it better. Gives it some, you know, rarity to it. West Virginia, I actually like West Virginia's logo, honestly. I don't know why, but I'd put it at like the upper echelon of average, kind of with Texas Tech and Notre Dame. Western, so Western Michigan actually got a new logo that is would be the worst. It, I would rank it as the worst. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. Uh, it looks like some autistic kid just drew him a, a new logo. So I'm just going to put this one down here. This one is way better than their new one, but it is what it is. Wisconsin, I mean, we'll put it just average, whatever. It's just a W. Uh, Western Kentucky, it's just too small for me. And then Wyoming, it's it's unique. I mean, I'll put it like right here for average. It's a unique logo. Why? Actually, you know what? It fits Wyoming really well. We'll put it up here. I like that. So that is ranking every, and I, I do only have this logo. I'm going to say this right now. If Old Dominion's logo was the their actual, which I think their actual logo is, I don't think this is their actual logo unless they changed it. Old Dominion has an unbelievable logo that would have challenged Arkansas State. But I just love Arkansas State's logo. It's so cool. Maybe the only thing I would change about Arkansas State's logo, maybe make it a touch smaller. It might just be a, a teeny bit too obnoxious. Just a little teeny bit too big. And then there you guys can see the elite logos for me. The above average. You've got your average. And then I think we can all kind of agree on most of these down here. I think I did a pretty good job with these ones. They're just they're just really ugly to look at, man. I mean, there's nothing. It's just bad. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.